गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम सूरज अग्रवाल एंड यू आर वाचिंग योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल गार्डनिंग इज माय पैसन टुडे फ्रेंड्स आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू यूज हाउ टू प्रिपेयर लिक्विड मास्टर्ड केक फर्टिलाइजर द मास्टर्ड केक इज द बेस्ट फर्टिलाइजर एवर ऑन अर्थ एंड आई टेल यू दिस इज द इजीएस्ट एंड चीपेस्ट फर्टिलाइजर नाउ टुडे आई टेल यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेट ए होल साम फर्टिलाइजर दिस इज ए स्लो रिलीज फर्टिलाइजर टू फॉर्म्स इट कम्स इन केक फॉर्म इन और इन पाउडर फॉर्म बोथ आर सेम थिंग द केक फॉर्म इज crushed to powder and they have the same function so uh, don't bother if you have cake form or powder form just soak it for a couple of days and there will be similar results and now i tell you what are the the actual mixture this is the mixture i have ma made it and uh, you have to mix around 100 gram of this powder or say cake form in 1 liter of water soak it for Uh, four days only then dilute it in uh, 10 times or 20 times that will make it 1% or 0.5% solution so the uh, mustard cake fertilizer the npk content of mustard cake fertilizer is 4 is to 1 is to 1 that is nitrogen is 4% uh potash is 1% and 1% is phosphorus that is this uh, and along with that they contains lots of micronutrients the micronutrients they contain manganese sulfur magnesium and zinc and this uh, sulfur as yes, this is the oil seed they contains lots of sulfur and lots of zinc therefore you don't have to add any kind of uh, sulfur or zinc for production of the crop or any of the flower plants they contains lots of amino acids also so you, this is a wholesome fertilizer you can get every kind of macro nutrients and all the micro nutrients trace elements everything you can get this from fertilizer but this is a slow release fertilizer if you want to make it a very fast release fertilizer for the enormous growth of plants so very fast growth of and best growth of plant you have to add some chemical fertilizer that i'll be adding some dap on it and uh, which amount of dap you will add you have to know how to add and which amount of add this dap dap is a part chemical fertilizer that uh, means diammonium phosphate this is the chemical diammonium phosphate you have to add 10 g of dap if you add 100 g of mustard cake then you have to add 10 g of dap this much amount is the 10 g of dap you have to add in 1 liter of water if you add 100 g of a uh, mustard cake there and this is the 10% of dp now soak it for 4 days after 4 days you have to dilute it and i tell you in dp the nitrogen and phosphorus content is 18 is to 46 that is 18% is nitrogen and 46 is a uh, phosphorus in the form of phosphorus pentoxide or p2o5 if you in pure form that phosphorus content is 20% so nitrogen nitrogen is largely responsible for growth of the leaves of the plants the foliage of the plants and the phosphorus is uh, responsible for root growth flower and fruit development so for the flower and fruit development phosphorus is very very essential and for the potassium overall growth of the plant and the uh, maturing of the flower fruits and seeds and for the defense mechanism that uh, this uh, potassium protects the plants from the over drought or some uh, frost like structure so this is the uh, diammonium phosphorus that we buy from the nursery or any agriculture shop around 200 g in 10 rupees 10 rupees 200 g uh, diammonium phosphate or dap is enough for the whole season and they don't need much if you grow in uh, uh, this uh, this is another this is the uh, uh, sufola npk sufola 1026 26 this is also a very cheap product so you don't have to buy much of the amount and if you buy 10 rupees this will be enough for the whole season this both the product is very very easily available for any of the agricultural shop or any nursery you can buy this dap or npk sufola that will do for your nursery purposes now the question arises when to add this dap so how to use this dap so the dap if you add dap you don't add in very very small seedlings if you add in small seedlings what will happen they will release ammonia and the ammonia are very very harmful for the seedlings roots of the seedlings so you have to apply in, in this uh, mix it in uh, in pk fertilizer with this some of this master cake fertilizer around 10 g in 10 liter if you want you uh, uh, direct 
directly you can add 10 uh, granules of this dap in a 8 or 10 inch pot that to in the sides uh, of this uh, border of this uh, 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 pots here and then you can add this uh, 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 liquid fertilizer and that it should be added in once in 15 days is enough for applying this dap directly now I tell you how to use it, how to use this DAP in mustard cake liquid fertilizer. Just add 10 gram of DAP in 100 gram of this mustard cake and uh, apply it in 1 liter of water. This much of amount I have added 4 days ago and this is the consistency of the liquid. This is 10% solution now and now what you have to do is take around 10 times water you have to apply in these plants. And this is another I have added here NPK Supola. this is slightly yellowish color earlier was slightly ash color that I have added uh, DAP and here I have added uh, Supola. now I, I am showing you how to apply it just take around 10 times water that is if you are taking 10 glass full of water now take one glass full of this NPK um, uh, yeah, this is mustard cake liquid fertilizer mixed with a uh, DAP and mix it one glass in 10 glass of water this is the one glass that's uh, total means 1% solution that uh, finally this turns to be 1% solution this is slightly yellowish color solution this is the consistency you have to apply don't make it too much concentrated if you apply too much concentrated your plants may die that may be overdoses so you have to apply this liquid around 100 ml to 200 ml in each plant around 7 to 8 uh, uh, inch pot you have to apply uh, in uh, early days you have to dry it out for one day and then you apply 100 to 200 ml and then in that day don't apply any water on that day this is the apply one precaution i tell you that you don't add in any of the cactus succulent types of plants or any any of the indoor plants if you apply in cactus or succulent there may be some fungal problem and they are very very prone to fungal attack and fungal infection here also some uh, fungal will growth but that will be beneficial uh, for fungus and uh, in three to four days the all the fungus will disappear and they will be mixed in the soil and they will be very very helpful for all the micronutrients and all so this is you can apply it uh, once in 10 days or 15 days is enough for this wholesome fertilizer if you apply this fertilizer you don't have to add any kind of fertilizer you can keep it around six to seven Seven days or 10 days and after that if you are keeping it one month or two months you can apply a little bit of uh, some calcium hydroxide and they can use and this is any kind of fertilizer early days you have to apply mixed with the DAP and later on after one month of the plants age or one and a half months of plantage you can add in this uh, NPK fertilizer so in this uh, this is the best fertilizer for your plants for foliar plants foliage plants uh, vegetable plants every kind so hope you enjoyed the video if you at all like the video please give it a like give it a thumbs up if you want to share please share with your near and dear ones if you are very new to my channel please 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 subscribe my channel thank you very much thank you for being with us so nice of you thank you